Good morning, my friends. Happy Wednesday. How are ya? <clears throat> I'm Diane from Boho Stamper, and thanks for joining me. And guess what? Alice is done, I think. We're going to do a flip through <clears throat> and make sure that there isn't something missing in there. You know, I forgot to uh, maybe add a journal card or tags or something. Um, I'll share some additional pieces that I did off camera. And I'm also going to share some of the things that I learned while I was doing this journal. Because my next one that I'm going to work on is a boho journal. And I'm, I'm kind of giving you that heads up in advance because I know that when a couple of the other um, journal artists went to make a boho journal, they had some negative comments about the title. So if that's not your cup of tea, please feel free to skip over the next journal and hopefully you'll come back again for another one. But, you know, I like boho style. I like um, color and flair and I'm not doing this with the intention of offending anybody next time. So, if that's not your cup of tea, feel free to skip over me. But for today, Alice is done. One of the things that I did learn is that um, I could have benefited from a master board with just some collage paper on it so that as I needed more tags and journal cards and stuff, I had that available to me. I started to do this journal with one 12 by 12 scrapbook pad by Stamperia, and I have added those, um, my, my um, supplies, in the description box below. I eventually did go back, <clears throat> and um, I got the, the little chipboard pieces, the little chipboard die cuts, I got those, and I did get a package of charms. I also had two digital downloads. Those are also in the description box. One I used more than the other, mainly because of the coloring. By the time um, I cut out all the little um, puppets, the little puppet dolls out of that digital download, those colors matched our cover much better than the other one. We still use some of those pieces, but more one than the other. So, you know, if you're going to do a journal kind of before you get your downloads, look at your colors and see if it's going to suit what you're already starting. But in, our, in my defense, I, I had no idea what we were going to do as far as a cover. Um, what was the other thing? Digital downloads. I did also use some of my own um, coffee dyed and avocado dyed papers in here. Um, little bits and pieces that I had in my craft room. But mostly, mostly it was just those couple pages. Or the couple products. The paper pad and the digitals. And this is about all I had left paper wise. I have a couple little strips of paper. I already threw them over in my, in my, um, <clears throat> my little box of paper pieces because they're very tiny. I'm going to put this in my Etsy shop and as I had mentioned before I left these wax threads kind of long. I didn't cut the extra off of it so that if somebody gets it you can untie these charms and make them however you want them to be. And we have our Alice. I picked my camera up today too so that I could open this up and, and um, hopefully we'll be able to see the inside. So we have Alice on that little foam padding on top of a doily. And I did tie this shut with just a piece of um, white ribbon with some silver trim in it. And in our first pocket, we had the little accordion book or accordion folder that we can add uh, little notes. And here again, I'll get, you know what, let's, let's just put some of those little, they're going to fall down inside is the only thing. You're not going to see them down there. 
Never mind. Never mind. So, anyways, we have that in the front with a little ribbon to just wrap around our. Uh huh. <laughs> Our tab um, and our adventures in Wonderland. A couple blank pages. We did the pocket with our, our rabbit on here and just stuck a journal card. This is from the Stamperia pad itself. Apologize for the hoarseness, but you know, uh, what are we doing today? I think we're cold and rainy today. Yesterday was warm and rainy. We had our little corner tucked down here, and it has one, two, three, four little slots to add cards, or we could add one of those little things in here, huh? There. Most of these are the die cuts, though, and they're going to make it pretty thick. I'm already concerned about the weight. I also don't really need to keep those die cuts for anything. I already have a bunch of Alice cards left. Um, this corner, I had just put a piece of the coffee dyed old letter. I think this was from Rachel at Roxy's Creations and just put that in there for some little note taking. Uh, I did go back and I added some little collage pieces onto these corners. Just plenty of space for writing. This was our flip out of the queen tag. She came out of the window. And that was one of the little puppet dolls. The little puppet uh, figurines from the print, uh, the digital download. And then this just flips out for writing space. For our pocket, I added um, the key die cut it around and added a little lock because I thought if we got a key you got to have a lock right just put another little tag in here uh, another little space you can write on <clears throat> I tended to use a lot of brown packing paper rather than coffee dye paper for writing I like the feel of packing paper so when I have the chance to use it like on the back of journal cards or on sheets I, I like to do that and then just our straight paper with the snippet roll down the side and the Cheshire Cat. I put um, his matching playing card in his little tuck spot. And a little Alice window here that slides out. And then this was off of the One Digital Download and that's a pretty close compared picture there so I just used it on that page. Um, we have our little velvet die cuts that we made the corner tuck out of and then put the crown in there. Cards since we're using velvet you know we just put the, the king's crown on that page. And we have the March hair in the center of the first signature. That's the other thing I learned. Um, my next journal, we have three signatures in here, and this got to be really thick. I think my next one, I will do more signatures with less pages and try to keep it from getting too fat. But the die cuts do add to that, so um, but I don't have die cuts for the Boho journal. Uh, this page was the King and the Queen, and Alice and her deck of cards. Just a cute little striped page with the March hair and a clock because, you know, we're always so worried about the time on Alice. We're going to be late. Teapot and teacup. The little teacup is just a tuck spot. Um, I did like this Cheshire Cat one. Everything you can imagine is real. I added a little bit of a... A moon behind him and just let him sit there with his little grimacing face that he does. Added a little kitty cat charm. Uh, this is one of our little altered paper clips with 
a couple of tiny tucks there. Uh, let me see, this corner just has a journal card, two journal cards, one with the cards from the paper pack and then one from some paper that I had. Skip the page. This was our little, our little folded tuck that we got from Gail Augustinelli and made one of those for our journal. A little side pocket over here. Nice. That's going to be a favorite. Um, another little corner pocket just with some cards in there. Writing space. Another journal card. The bigger altered paper clip, which would be great for um, tucking larger pieces of paper under. And on this side, I just stuck a card also. We have the little cello bag here, a glassine bag with a journal card in there. And let me see. Um, I did add this belly band. This was one of the bigger strips of paper that I had left. So I just added it as a belly band. I had some red cardstock that I had layered up and never used, so I just added some of the Alice paper. I Aliceified it. Another Cheshire Cat page here with a little Ace of Spades charm. This side is, oh, this is the other one that we learned from, is that from Gail too, I think, that had the side pockets in it. And um, this one was just a journal card, a red envelope with a little card. Now this was made with one of the uh, master board pieces that I just had left. And that's what I'm thinking. I need to do some of that. But, you know, I only had a few that had reds and orangey pinks and stuff in there. So um, the next one I think I want to do with some blues and purples, although I'll show you some of the stuff I have to get started on that. This one was another piece from my uh, collage sheet that I had, and I just stuck in there one of the one of the little pieces of coffee dyed paper that we had folded up into an envelope. One of these leftover pieces that we had, I just added that in there with one of the decks of playing cards sheets. I need to separate that paper clip a little bit. That's pretty tough. And stuff that inside. And let's see, we have some music and a doily. And then our black pockets had just a journal card behind one of the one of the um, chipboard die cuts. She's actually the same picture, so that worked out well. And he was the same. Another little um, altered paper clip. I just stuck a card in that and a bookmark. Uh, old notebook papers. A happy place in our one envelope. And another journal card on this side. I used one of the little coin envelopes and just added a couple of tags inside. Added it onto our page with a clip. And we have the Mad Hatter here. This was also a piece of um, collage board that I had. And sort of edge this with some washi to protect the edge of that glassine bag. Um, this was another piece of red that I had from my board and I just stuck a couple of tags inside of that. <clears throat> one more altered paper clip. I just did this one yesterday because I had this little flower left over and it matches the um, paper from that Stamperia pad so I just put a couple of little pieces of coffee dye paper in here on each side. 
and they both can come out and secret little notes on there or little quotes that you want to remember. Uh, let's see, this page, oh, this was our fold out that has a couple of tags inside. So like I said, plenty of room for writing, keeping all of your little memories and poems and ideas, another um, belly band. This was just, this was another piece of my collage board that I had left over and the pink matched really well. So this was the perfect place to use that. Uh, just a little teapot. This side back, I just put in a piece of the coffee dye paper and blueberry paper. And uh, not that one. I was thinking I had a little punch out here. I was going to punch a little bit of a decoration in the corner. This one I just used a clothespin and added a, one of the cutouts and a piece of that blueberry paper also. And this was actual blueberries that I had um, cooked down and saved the water and then dyed my paper with the water. So that's why I call it blueberry paper. It really is blueberry paper. Um, Tweedledee and Tweedledum. Just a journal card here. And uh, this was the one that was left over from Tracy Fox's digital download that we had done our um, little tag booklet. So I just used some of that paper to cover this envelope. Uh, oh, that one has, what's I got on it? That one has a clock and a March hair. That little charm. This one has uh, the rose. And I just added a little pocket onto that page with that clip. Let's see, this was our big journal card. And almost to the end, this little pocket, another little coin envelope that I just added some decorations to and stuck in a couple of the tags from the download. Pretty center. I like the tea time one. Mm -hmm. And then just a couple more tags over here by the Mad Hatter. A piece of avocado dyed paper. Or no, this was pink paper. That was from Triple D Vintage, I think. Nothing special. No decorating in here. And last one, I think was the other half of the envelope that we just added a journal card to. This has another little bunny charm. Another clip over here. This is some more of that flower paper. Oh yeah, then our other little pocket that we made here. That's right. Forgot we had that one. And this one I just put some coffee dyed paper in there. And our little pull out papers. Lots of room in here. This little character that I never did figure out what he's supposed to be. Oops. And just one last little card there and two large journal cards in the back pocket. I didn't find anywhere to add this little heart charm, so I just clipped it on the back page. And then it's there to add to whatever. So, a couple of lessons learned for myself. You know, like I said, the collage pages would be really handy. Um, more signatures with less pages would probably have been a better idea. It w I mean, I don't mind the journal being fat and fluffy like this. But I'm just thinking for shipping you know, it's going to be a little bit harder than if, if it had um, just been a flatter book. Uh, what else? 
I don't know. So anyways, when I get started on the next one, I'm going to start just by making some um, collage sheets. And we'll use some of the colors. I'll show you what I have coming up for that. These pieces I will just keep. I don't know um, if I ever get to do another Alice journal, then I'll have those. Let me take a swig. I don't have my voice all the way today, but at least my headache's gone. Good Lord, I had a sinus headache yesterday. It kind of knocked me down for a little while. So I've been saving stuff for this journal. I had sent away quite a while ago for um, furry silk and some... Um, see, I saved that. I've had this forever. I used to cut little pieces off of here and use them on um, different designs and stuff, but isn't this cool? This trim? I don't know. It was included in a bundle of stuff that I got in bulk one time. I did get, years and years ago, I got a package of um, trims, and I think that was in it. And I had, this is Prima. This is old also, though. Just pulled that out. I also found this will work great. This is, oh, this is Prima also. These leaves. Um, I thought that'll be fun in this journal. And then this was, um, that actually came in a bulk package I had gotten felting wool. And when, I, when you buy it in bulk, that's where that red foam stuff came from too. There's also extra little weird stuff thrown in there. And this was in that bag. All my pretty sorry pieces. I'll never use all of this in the journal. I'll have to use some of this in my... Roxy's Journal of Stitchery project. Hopefully there'll be something coming up where I can use a piece of sari. Silk so pretty. The designs are just gorgeous. I've never done a fabric flip in my journal, but I might have to just so I can use some of the fabric out of here. See, like that would be good probably on my on one of my stitching projects just that piece of trim I don't know pretty though and it gives you some ideas for colors like I, I don't know why I love pink and orange together is that weird or what you think it's weird but look at the pink and orange on here isn't it pretty and one valentine that I did a ton of my valentines in pink and orange because I just I mean, of course, you have to have the right shades of them. They can't be <clears throat> too clashy, clashy. But oh, look at that little piece of trim there. That will be wonderful in our journal. So anyways, this was a, um, I have to look up and see where I got this and see if these items are still available. And then I can link it when I start that journal. I also got um, these quilt squares. So these are Cantha stitched across them, but some of them might be very handy for our upcoming pages. I sort of see myself going towards the purples and blues just because I always do. <laughs> I don't know. I, always tend to go towards blues when I'm making stuff or pinks I guess but for some reason this I've just kind of been focusing on the blue I don't know why and what else did I have set oh some papers here whoops let's stick this back in here we have plenty of beads and charms and oh some little, these were some Stampin' Up scraps that I had, and they're like little gold dots on vellum. Just some pretty, this little tag, I don't know where that's from, um, but there's a little rose one that kind of goes with it. 
Looks like it's out of a paper pad, but I don't know what one. Uh, oh, I got a an elephant as a thank you in Happy Mail, so I just saved that over here. Have some tassels. Um, these came in a uh, Simon Says stamp box, I believe, but they're little tin hearts. Some sequin trim. At this fabric that also came in a bulk package that I kind of was thinking might make a nice cover, but it's only going to make a front cover. So I don't know. I don't know if that's what I want to use. Then I have um, from my crocheting day and knitting day some recycled silk yarn. Aren't these colors amazing? Great, great color. And see, that's that's where my my mind goes to when I'm thinking boho. It's just a multitude of color. Love design. I had this one paper pad. I'll bet this paper pad is like 15 years old. I don't know. It's I've had it for a while. Oh, 20. No, nope, that's something different. Oh, that's supposed to be in my purple. I was going to do a purple journal. So I have a year on this one. There's not a whole lot left. I've taken so many pages out of it. Used pieces of it, but I really like what I have left. This is all I have left in there, plus my pieces. These are out of this as well. Oh no, there's that's more of it below. I was gonna say I didn't think I used it all, but could have. Came out of the cover. Come here, roll paper. So look at won't these be great with some of the saris? I just have to be careful because these are thick. These are the heavier scrapbook papers, so I'm going to have to use this in moderation. I don't know. I like it. I just wish it was a thinner paper. Um, <clears throat> yeah, no year on that. So I don't even know how old this is. It was called Pocket Full of Posies. No, no year. And the craft store that I got that from has been long closed here, so. And then I had this one also. Um, Two thousand and twelve. Mm -hmm. That one at least had a year. And this just has some leftover. Oh, these are just some leftover pieces from other cards that I had made that I thought might work well with the Boho Journal. And I'm going to have to see what we can find in this stuff that we'll be able to use. Oh, and I saved this one because this is the thinner scrapbooking paper. This isn't the thick stuff, so I would be able to use more of this. I like the flowers on the other one, though. That's me, always wanting what you can't have, right? Let's stick those in there so they don't fall out. Um, look at that. Isn't that pretty? Big blue polka dots. Pretty paper. And the digital download that I got for this, and I like this one too, um, has a lot of like um, Romanian dancers or gypsy dancers and stuff. And I think they're in blue. I forget the name of that download, but I will look it up and we'll get started on that. So I would imagine next Wednesday I'm going to, if I don't get it started before then, I'm going to begin making um, 
collage paper. I have tons of scraps over there, but I do know that I want to focus more on the blues and purpley sides of it, you know, as opposed to Alice that was done in reds and black. So if, um, as I said, I am going to put this on my Etsy shop. It'll take me a couple days to probably get pictures from the inside and get it posted and stuff. I have some errands to run this afternoon. So in the meantime, if anybody is interested in this specifically, you can email me at diane at bohostamper.com and let me know. And before I even get it posted on my Etsy shop, I can make arrangements with you. Might save us each a couple dollars. Who knows? By the time we get Etsy listings in there and figure out postage and stuff, it always is more expensive than what I truly wanted it to be. So thanks for joining me for our, our Alice in Wonderland flip through. Hope that um, you enjoyed getting to make some of the little ephemera pieces that I shared on here that I learned along the way. And hopefully when we get started on our boho one, we'll add a few different things too. I've actually seen a couple of items on some of the videos that I watched that have um, intrigued me and and I would like to be able to do them. You know, Rachel right now is doing a, a lace journal. It's gorgeous. I don't have the quantity and the, the designs of lace that she has, but I think that would be such a fun thing to do if you had those pieces. So, anyways, um, I'll be on Friday again with um, just paper crafting fun. Not quite sure what we are going to do on Friday and then again on Monday I'll be back with my Stampin' Up! video and until then you guys all have a wonderful week remember you only got like five days left in February can you believe it already 2022 we're going into the third month time is flying by y'all take care have a wonderful week and thanks for being with me bye